enshrined at the head of B'nai Israel's temple sits the synagogue's Torah scrolls. So the Torah scroll is our most sacred object. It contains the first five books of the Bible. But one of the spots is empty. We had to build a special shelf for it. The Torah um, scroll that goes here confiscated in Jerusalem last week. The Sacramento synagogue loaned it to the Jewish activist group Women of the Wall. They brought the Torah to the Western Wall last Saturday to pray. No little girl, no woman has ever been given the same privilege to be able to be in the same sacred spot and to be re able to read from the Torah. The Wailing Wall is divided by men and women. While there are Torahs on the men's side, there are none for women. It makes me outraged that in in the Jewish homeland, in the holiest spot for the Jewish people, women are treated like second class citizens that were not treated equal to the men. For four days, the Western Wall Authority held the Torah captive. It looks a lot like this. Everything on the Torah scroll has to come from the natural world. The missing scroll, about 160 years old. And so you could see with what precision they have to do the writing. Rabbi Mona Alfie says authorities would only return the Torah if the women's group signed a document saying they purposely desecrated the holy site. Yeah, it's crazy that in this day and age, women are still fighting for equality. Western Wall officials handed the Torah over to police on Wednesday after the women refused to say they violated the law. Instead, they sent this letter demanding the scroll be returned. The group's executive director telling us in a statement, confiscating women of the Wall's Torah scroll for the whole reason of women wanting to read from it is not only outrageous, it's illegal. The group is waiting to get the Torah back from police, and B'nai Israel is leaving it overseas for now. We will not take it back until they have access to the Torah scrolls um, at the Western Wall. The Torah telling the story of the Jewish people. Now this one has a story of its own. In Sacramento, Marley Martinez, KCR Rate 3 News.